Good morning, brothers and sisters. Once again, this is Alvin Almeida, the evangelist, and we have another question and answer video. Uh, the question for this morning is, what causes regeneration? Or what makes us born again? Remember Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 3, you cannot enter the kingdom of God unless you are born again. You cannot go to heaven. You cannot be saved if you're not born again. So the question is, who makes us born again? Do I manufacture it? Am I responsible? Can man regenerate his dead sinful heart, his sinful condition? Can you make yourself born again? Can you make yourself brand new? Can you recreate yourself to become a new creation in Christ Jesus? Uh, you know, can you truly uh, sanctify, um, resurrect yourself from spiritual death? Uh, the answer is no. You there is nothing you can do to make yourself born again. So one verse for this in John chapter 1 verse 13. Um, verse 12 tells us that those who receive Christ and believe in Christ become the children of God. They also become born again. But how do they become born again? Verse 13. The believers, the Christians who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. See, first let's talk about uh, who makes us born again. Only God. The last part of verse 13, the born again experience is of God alone. It's of God. It is not a result of the will of the flesh. Read verse 13. It is not the result of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man, but of God alone alone. It is only God who causes this. You cannot self-manufacture, self-produce this by self-improvement efforts, uh, self-discipline uh, methods. You cannot produce the new creation, the image of Christ in you. Only God can create the righteousness, can give you the righteousness of Christ. Only God can make you a brand new person okay it is not a result of it is not a blood verse 13 also tells us it is not a blood that means you do not inherit this from your parents just because your parents are born again christians uh, it doesn't mean that all the children will also be born again uh, this is not of blood that means you you were not born with the new nature you were born with the sin nature of Adam. Okay? You were not born with Christ's righteousness in you. You were born with a desperately wicked heart. The only moment you receive the new nature or the born again experience or the righteousness of Christ is when you believed in the Lord Jesus. When you truly, genuinely believed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. With repentance, the moment you surrender to the cross and you said, Sorry, God, I want you know, I want to turn away from my sin, I want to surrender my life to you. Uh, it's an act of faith, it's an act of surrender. There was sorrow, repentance in your heart. It, you know, God has forgiven you, and um, I believe at the same time you were surrendering to the cross. God was regenerating you. God was creating in you a new person, a new identity, a new nature, a new man, a new creation. You have now become a new person. The old has is gone. The new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 If anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. Who caused that? Who Produce that in the inner person, God alone, not us. We did not manufacture it. You could not produce it. So verse 13, John chapter 1, 
You were born because of God. It's not because you inherited it, not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man. It's not because of human efforts, but because of God's miraculous intervention whereby He resurrected you from the dead and gave, created you to be a new man, a new person in Christ Jesus. Now, a lot of people think that they can change their lives, that they can make themselves brand new, that they can, um, by their own efforts, uh, become perfect and righteous before God. Impossible. If we can attain that with our human action, then regeneration is no longer the act of God, the gift of God. Regeneration is the gift of God to you when you believed in Jesus. Amen. So, regeneration is the gift of God. It's the work of God. It's granted by God. It's operated by God. It is a miraculous intervention of God. He regenerated you. He recreated you. He reborn, reborn you with a brand new life. He made you a new man. Amen. No longer in Adam, but in Christ Jesus, you are saved, forgiven, and brand new. Remember, there is nothing you can do to enter the kingdom of God or to save yourself. It is, salvation, regeneration is not received by human efforts, but by faith in Jesus Christ alone. God bless you. If you like the content of this video, please subscribe to my channel. Alvin Almeida, The Evangelist. See you in the next one. Amen.